WXV3 with Porsche Woodman Wycliffe and Maggie Alfonsi. Yes, I really did just do that. Um, glad that's over with. It is, of course, the third tier of the new global women's rugby competition. Hugely excited to discuss it with our two esteemed guests. Um, Porsche, this one's going to be based in Dubai, WXV3, a place you will have been a few times on the seventh circuit. A touch warm, I imagine. Definitely had a fair few experiences there. Um, was my first Sevens World Series I got to travel to, so it holds a close spot to my heart is hot. It is different and I think that's a, a point that the teams are going to have to think about. Heat acclimation or heat climatization, hydration. But the venue itself, it's incredible. It's a field out in the middle of the desert so it is something never seen before. I think the teams are going to absolutely love it. And a really interesting mix of teams with the likes of Fiji in there, Ireland of course, who uh, have come down from the TikTok Women's Six Nations, Kazakhstan who've got their own history with the women's game. What are you looking forward to about WXV3, Maggie? The range of teams, you know, you've got Kenya, Spain as well, and I remember playing against Kazakhstan back in the Rugby World Cup in 2010. Well, Fobzy made a huge statement in game. And they've been to six Rugby World Cups, so I'm just looking forward to seeing all of these strong teams play against each other and you know it's important to recognize and remember that there's promotion and relegation as well so every game counts. Yes it is going to be the team that finishes top of WXV3 can go into two and vice versa. In terms of players that might be lighting up the competition who's in your mind? Anna Nomasi from Fiji. She's an amazing athlete, fast, strong. I hate tackling her on the 7 Series. I hate being tackled by her on the 7 Series. Neve Jones. So she's a hybrid of between a back row and a hooker. Plays her rugby be at Gloucester Hartbury, who just recently won the uh, women's premiership. Good at stealing the ball. I have never been tackled by her, so I don't know what it feels like, but I know she's a quality athlete. Yeah, and what about the teams that we think will stand out? Oh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Fiji. You know, they're, they're strong athletes, you know, they're powerful, they're well known for their sevens, but actually I think when we talk about them in the 15s game, they've become a really strong nation. So. I would say watch out for them. In terms of all of the countries that are coming together for WXV3, perhaps this group more than any others has the real potential to inspire back home. We know that it's super important for people to be able to, to see something to look up to. Those, those role models are really important, aren't they? Looking back to when I was a young girl, I never had female rugby players to look up to. So to have these girls in different nationalities, different countries, now being able to see their national rugby players playing, I can be there. They can see it, they can do it. It's amazing. It certainly is. We are really looking forward to WXV3 starting in October. Mm -hmm.